hello and welcome. Hello and welcome into a series that I have affectionately dubbed Until I Hate Myself. The series that slowly chips away at my soul until there's nothing left but a hollow shell of a man. Buckle in, this should be fun. It is currently 155 degrees outside Celsius, but don't worry because I have a frozen Oh, it's splashing my eye. A mostly frozen bottle of water between my legs. The most effective measure to cool your body. So cool, in fact, that all my sperm are currently frozen. Yeah, I'm like a cryogenic lab. Sorry, ladies, I cannot have kids because of the summer that I had to put frozen bottles of water between my legs. In this week's installments, we have a new release, Insatiable, which looks like utter trash. I have, however, gone into things thinking that it, they were gonna be trash and then ended up enjoying them. So I will give this a fair shake. It's 12 episodes, about 40 minutes an episode. I will watch as much as my poor soul can take. Screw those bitches. So, while my classmates were out losing their virginity, I was at home, stuffing another hole. Stuffing another hole. She's not talking about eating, she's talking about doing anal. She was really an anal when she was a kid. No, whoa, 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 they're teenagers. D erase that joke from your mind, um, she wasn't doing that, I'm, oh my god, am I in trouble already? <laughs> they're fictional people, I can get away with it. Watching every Drew Barrymore movie ever made. My true calling, helping young ladies become their very best selves. But that wasn't enough. The pageant self isn't the very best self. Don't girls like starve themselves in order to like fit into those dresses and then like parade themselves in front of a bunch of men to which they're judged numerically? <laughs> That's the very best self a woman can get? My God. But Brick Armstrong. Oh boy. <laughs> what if he makes fun of her? He just leans over her and he's like, Get up, fatty! He's gonna sleep on my floor? This is my gym. What are your thoughts about ISIS? <laughs> a political question. Oh yeah, hey, here's a really good opportunity for comedy. I hope that, like, if they can nail this joke, I'll feel really good about this series. ISIS? Like Italian ISIS? I love him. The fate. Greg Armstrong? Yeah. Oh, you're the one from my gym class. You feeling better? <laughs> You're the one from my gym class. He doesn't even know her. They're in the same goddamn class. He doesn't even know her name. Oh, you got no shot, girl. Patty wants to ask you for coffee to say thanks for earlier, like a date. You thought that just because I was nice to you that, wow, wow, um, I gotta go. Oh, yo, okay, he makes this joke work. Just standing there awkwardly, because that's how I feel. Although, why is he offended? <laughs> she just wants to go on a date with him, and he's like, whoa. Just because I helped you, you think I like you? What the fuck? Bro, she's just asking for coffee. Can you chill a sec? This is your fault. I want my money back, or else. Or else what? It's over, Regina. He touched her hoo-hoo. What? No, no. It's not like you need it, fatty. Crazy. I begged every lawyer in town to take my daughter's case pro bono. It can't be easy, you know? Looking like that and having a mother who looks like me. Mr. Armstrong. Jesus Christ. She's not even gonna be relatable. She's not even gonna try to be like a real human being. Instead, she's gonna insult her daughter while bragging about her own past and then try to use sexual favors to get to cover the lawyer charges. I, come on. Can you be more of a cliche character? Can't you help us? Just trying to drown out you and mom celebrating in the kitchen. Rick Armstrong, show some respect. They literally have sex in the kitchen while their son's home? What if he goes to the kitchen? What parents would have sex out in the open, like in the living room or kitchen, while their kids are home? She was a diamond in the rough. A beauty queen just waiting to happen. I My. hate how this guy, we know he's he's an accused 
child toucher. But we know he didn't do it. But then he's looking at, he's just staring at her. And I know it's for like the pageant stuff. But he just feels uncomfortable him staring at a her. A chance for redemption. Is that the intro? Is that the fucking intro? <laughs> That's so stupid. That's the stupidest intro I've ever seen. Oh my god. Hey, let me try it. Let me try it. Did I tell you Bob called me pretty? No one's ever said that to me before. I do. You're a girl. He's a man. Ah! <laughs> I'm, this is so, I'm making, I'm so uncomfortable. I don't think Bob's about that, but I, this show is just making me feel uneasy. No. Dude. I'm writing any. Ugh. Are you crazy? Oh my God. She's into the old dude. Oh, this is the, this He's is He's a bad. child molester. Yeah. Which means I might actually have a shot. Ew, oh my God. She's into the child molester because she's also a child. And that gives her hope that he will molest her. Am I sure I heard that right? Can just... He's a child molester. Which means I might actually have a shot. Yep, okay, did hear that correctly. She's glad that he's a child molester. I love when society's values dissolve. This is great. How do I look? I give Nate a pearl necklace. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You know, there's edgy jokes but it's not funny to me. It's just disgusting. An alleged child molester who was falsely accused, by the way, which is fucked up in its own... Like, that's a whole story. If you wanted to do a serious drama, you can make that the center of the plot. That's fucked up. But now, like, a minor is in love with him and he's joking about giving her a pearl necklace and calling her pretty and... I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just uncomfortable. You stole Patty's journal? That's crazy. You don't understand. She's a, she's obsessed with him. She has a crush. It's normal. You're obsessed with Patty. Are you... As a mom, your daughter may be sleeping with a child molester. And you're like, ah, kids will be kids. You know, just what, what can you do? What can you do? Just let her live her life. Drew Barrymore as Amy Fisher the greatest seductress in American history. Welcome to the gala for anal cancer. Welcome to the gala for anal cancer. Or you could just say thank you for coming. Anal can't. There doesn't have to be a like a nasty joke at every turn. Like you can just have a gala for cancer, for oral cancer, for kidney cancer, for throat cancer, brain cancer. It, not everything has to be a dirty joke. Maybe I'm not the person that should be saying that because I make a lot of my jokes dirty, but goddamn, there's a limit. What are these? Ribbons. You know, like how breast cancer has those cute little pink ones. Ah, yeah, okay. You got brown pins instead of pink because brown is the color of poop. <laughs> this show is so clever. <laughs> they know that poop is brown. Poop is brown. So they have brown ribbons. <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> Rectal itching. <laughs> Brilliant jokes here. See, he talks about butts. And then the girl makes butt sounds. <laughs> like farts. <laughs> and she even makes a funny face. <laughs> Fecal discharge. Oh, <laughs> more fart sounds. I can't get enough. More important than saving someone's anus from cancer! I need to take a break. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to get through one episode. I just want to do one episode. I even got a new... I got a new one because this one melted so fast because it's so fucking hot in here. So I got a new one. Frozen. And the show is just making me furious because it's so bad. It's like an edgy MTV show with more fart jokes. Close your eyes. Please. If you just shower certain compliments, I'm I'm already like just it's just uncomfortable to my core. And this is just making it worse. Do not give her compliments about how Tell me the truth. You are beautiful. Ah! What if I can? You can. 
See, at this point, I can't take the show seriously. They're trying to do the serious moment like, like, I need to get over my demons. I, I used to be fat and I don't want to be that anymore. But there's just too, there's just been too many fake characters that wouldn't exist in real life. They're not characters, they're caricatures. Mix that in with all these raunchy jokes, all these fart jokes. I can't take anything in the show seriously anymore. Hi, I'm John, and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, John. I was, I oh, yeah, he's the homeless guy. Yeah. That's the day. I lost my job, my home. I was gonna say, that homeless guy looked... Well, I know he had the scraggly beard and everything, but he looked like a, a decent-looking guy. You know, if they wanted just a guy for that one scene, they would have went more for the homeless look than an actor wearing homeless get-up, you know? I didn't admit I had a problem until I punched a fat girl in the face. Yeah, there it is. He thinks he can hurt me and then have me arrested and then just move on. I'm gonna screw that guy. You mean like screw him over? No, I mean like bang him. You wanna lose your virginity to a homeless man? I'm gonna get my revenge on this guy for punching me by letting him pound my vagina. <laughs> That'll show him not to hit girls anymore. I don't even want to hear what twisted logic you have for this plan coming full circle, because it, it's just stupid. I'm gonna sleep with him, and he's going to be so in love with me, and I'm going to reject him. That's the stupidest plan I've ever heard. I'm gonna make him fall for me, and then I'm gonna break up with him. <laughs> he's gonna be so hurt. Your first time to be with someone special? Someone who loves you? Oh my god, okay, so she's a lesbian, that's cool, wow. It's almost as if everything is telegraphed so obviously. I don't even have to watch the whole series. You know what, I might not watch episode two. I might watch the final episode after this. Are you gonna kill him? The best revenge was a life well lived. I could be the master of my own. God damn it. I actually thought that this was gonna get good. That she was gonna burn him alive. And then there was gonna be like a really thick plot. Where she's like out for revenge. But it's not like she wants to make people feel bad. She's like literally gonna murder people. That's interesting. I would have watched a whole series of that. To me the pilot was garbage. It had like a moment or two where I was like, oh there's some potential here. But then it would just be squandered by like a joke about poop or farting or something. Or there'd be some like child molestation thing going on that was just really uncomfortable for me to sit through and watch. What we're gonna do now is watch the final episode because I feel like I already know how this whole plot has gone. That I might get to have a threesome with the two people I loved most in the entire world? I had always been tough. Okay, I wasn't gonna throw it out there that Armstrong was gay. Just because he does the beauty pageant thing, I wasn't gonna throw that stereotype on him. However, he looks like he's about to go to town on that dude. You couldn't have your cake and eat it too, but maybe that was wrong. This is... See yourself. What? I won't. I, I'll, be, I'll be quiet and... I fucking hate you. She can't get it out of her mouth? She just put paper in her mouth. She could just go, uh, and spit it out. If you didn't want me to compete, then why did you bother to fix this? Because it was the right thing to do. I think I liked you better when you didn't have integrity. If you're gonna go for a joke, make a joke. But if you want to be serious, be serious. You can't be like, I liked you better when you were a worse person. You can't say that line seriously. You can't just be in Patty's house. What are you doing here? Looks to me like you're squatting. Oh, it looks to me like she's standing. And it's illegal. That's the worst joke. <sighs> I had to recapture the magic of the night before. If I could have this them both. This episode's about him trying to get a threesome going. Ever since I first met you, I've wanted your life. Really? You know, they do say that sex after like big emotional things is the best sex. So I, I don't know, man. Maybe this threesome can happen. It's yours. You have something that a man I never had. A real marriage. I want this. This is right here. Are they seriously gonna have like a three person alliance? What do you call this a coupling? There's a word for it where the three people like, you know. I don't know how to do that with, it's like this, but then it's also this. 
But then it's also this. I, I don't know how that all works. You need a grand romantic gesture. Just figure out what Patty wants more than anything in the world to give it to her. I can't believe I've been taking life tips from someone who lives in a car. If Drew Barrymore does a cameo in this, I'm turning this off immediately. Later, loser. Next time I see you, I'll have a crown on my head. Use your feet, dumbass. I thought if I lost weight, Use I'd have Use your a... feet! God, it's not hard. Oh Fresh my start. God. If people liked me, if I had a boyfriend. You, you're giving up? You can literally stretch your foot out. Get it up on the table and then pull it towards you. Brown. You are dumb. But none of it mattered. And it was more than just sex. We had shared real intimacy. I was telling you, I was telling you, you go from crying to banging and it's just electric. <laughs> because your, your suicide note is going to be very, very convincing. What are you doing? Painting a picture. When you couldn't numb the feelings with the food, you took your own life. Police are going to come in and see her handcuffed. Oh, she took her own life, but before she did, she handcuffed herself to the back of the van. Cause that's what suicide victims do. She's gonna use. I wasn't a loser. The, she's gonna use that as lubricant to get her hand out of the handcuff. Don't tell when me. When I was fat. Happen. That was so easy. She got her hand out of that so easily that I'm pretty sure she could have done it without the lubricant. So she was just laying there all day. Stella Rosa. Oh my God, you're alive and sticky. Sorry. Hold on, what, what exactly do you guys think is going on here? The three of us together like a throuple. I never agreed to be in a relationship. I just oh. figured the three of us would have sex sometimes so you didn't feel left out. Oh, damn, bro, you cold. This isn't fair to either one of us. No, no, no. You gotta choose between them. Bro, just fucking pick. God. Oh, Magnolia's in the trunk. Yep. What did you do? It's a grand romantic gesture. You said you're worried about the competition. <laughs> I thought Drew Barrymore was gonna show up. I thought he was gonna go out and find Drew Barrymore and bring Drew Barrymore into the final scene. But instead, his grand romantic gesture is to kidnap somebody. Good one, bro. I didn't mean this. I, I don't know. I've only seen two episodes now, but the villains just don't feel that scary. You killed that homeless guy. Whoa, 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 she ended up killing the homeless guy? You killed her. Why not? You killed that homeless guy. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> You're the villain. No, I'm not. You pushed Dixie off a truck. Dumped her out of a wheelchair. Stop, you tried stop, to kidnap stop Roxy, talking. and you wouldn't. He's giving me a little recap. This is perfect. You just watch this little clip. I know what happened the whole season. Stop talking. Bad person. I'm a good 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 person. I was destined to die alone. <laughs> you get to literally choose between which one you want. Literally, two people love you so much and you're like oh i can't have both so f my life bitch pick one calm down i don't even know why you're here i ruined so your life. yeah i i don't know what happened from episode 2 to 11 but she started the season by when she gets called fat she punches someone in the face and now someone calls her a bad person and she bludgeons them to death so there's no progression she except a progression to worse she literally got worse as the season went along. And I, I kind of figured this would have like a nice arc at the end. She would like realize she was like a good person in the end. I can't stop doing this. I don't know why. Oh, I was going to kill myself when you called tonight. The first time when you called to say you wanted to do pageants, I had a gun in my mouth then too. But I am starting to think you and I, we're faded. Can you have this conversation another time after you dispose of the body? They're literally being like, oh, it's so crazy. It's fate. I was going to kill myself. You just murdered a guy? And you just said we happened to call each other? This is crazy. Meanwhile, there's a dead guy in the trunk. She's covered in blood. And he still probably smells of semen and vagina juices. All right. Well, I'm glad that's over. There we go. We have basically watched the whole series. We watched the first episode and then last episode. And the middle of the season doesn't matter. 
And this season didn't even show who he chose, the guy. Choose the guy or the girl. That's gonna be a cliffhanger. Mm, fuck off. Little, little, little ice chunk. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. On a real note, I really don't know how I feel about this show. Like, they're trying to be edgy, but it just doesn't come across the right way. I think the dark moments, uh, because the light moments are so unbelievable. More important than saving someone's anus! He's a child molester. Which means I might actually have a shot. The dark moments are even more unbelievable. You gotta at least make the lighthearted stuff relatable so that people buy into the story. But you're so deep into kidnapping and pageants and stuff and threesomes with like lawyers and district attorneys. There's nothing I can relate to in this show. So if I don't feel anything for those characters, if I don't feel any sort of connection to them, then why would I feel bad for them when they're having troubles? Especially when their troubles are kidnapping, getting kidnapped, and then murdering multiple people. It's just stupid. The show is stupid. And from the final episode, there was no payoff for any character. All the friend characters, no payoff whatsoever. There was no final scene of them. They're like, oh, Patty's missing. Oh, there you are, Patty. And then that was the end of the season for them. You don't do a cliffhanger on season one when you're not sure people like the show. You can cliffhanger later seasons, but you gotta give like uh, slight cliffhangers, but then give overall wrap up. You can't just straight up cliffhanger everything. <sighs> Next week is a movie. I'm actually excited about that. I think it's a movie. I thought this was a movie when I first saw the trailer. Because, like, the first minute of the trailer was complete trash. So I, like, checked out. I didn't realize this was a show. But I'm pretty sure uh, to all the boys I've loved before. I think that's the title of it. And that looks kind of good. And I think it's a movie. It's coming out this week. That video will be up next Monday. So get prepared for that. Go back and watch another binge watch. There is, uh... 13 Reasons Why. Because I could see inspiration from 13 Reasons Why in this show, but just more poorly executed. And then on the bottom there is a scary game. Outlast. Go watch it. That's it. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day.